hi everyone this is Eno from Eno's world welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make some very simple tomato stew with chicken egg and a bit of beef so let's get started so these are all my ingredients that i'm going to be using for today so i've got some blended tomatoes with peppers and onions then I've got my beef stock from the beef that I cooked earlier. Then I've got some tomato puree. And then I've got my chicken. And I'll also have some onions to chop as well. So first of all, so this is the oil that I use to fry all my meats. So I'm gonna add my onions, blended onions, garlic and ginger. So we're gonna cook this for about five minutes or until it gets to a nice golden brown color. So this is the consistency or the color you want to get to. Then you add your tin of mackerel. So I added the mackerel that's got tomato around it. You can add oil one, but then if you add in the oil one, just don't use so much oil basically. So I keep that in there for another five minutes. So after five minutes, this is what it should be looking like. So now I add my tomato puree into it. Now with the tomato puree, what I did is I added a bit of water into that bowl and then I mixed it up a bit before adding it in. So I left this on for another 15 minutes until it actually simmered all the way down. So what I'm going to do now, do you know the tomato? Obviously the, the recording obviously messed up. I don't know what happened to it. Um, I cooked the tomato through a bit before I added it in so it will cook a lot more faster. Sorry for the mess on the hub. I'm trying to cook about four or five, like three or four things at the same time. So um, that's why. So now what I do is I've added my tomato. I will keep it on the hob for about another 30 minutes and then I'll come back and then we'll see how it's going. I know I'm weird. I don't know if it's just me or does everybody else do it. I literally stand there and watch it bubbling through before I leave. So anyways, that's just probably me. These are all the ingredients or seasonings, sorry, that I'm going to be adding to it. As I said, I was cooking a few things that day. So you will see me moving the pot from the back to the front, to the front, to the back. Yeah. So now you just add your beef and chicken stock into it. Then we can get going. So I keep it on the hub again for another 30 minutes. Then, as you can see, as I was saying, I move it from the front to the back, from the front to the back. So I've moved it to the back because I'm doing something else at the front. So I'm adding in all my seasonings now. I would say I added like a tablespoon of each thing and then one like a cube. So that's what I'm doing now. done now we're adding all our little little things my beef is going in my chicken is going in my egg is going in jai 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 sad and jam 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 
so that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding all everything together so we can get eating. As as you as you can see right here, you see what I was saying by I keep moving things from the front to the back, from the back to the front. That is what I was doing. I've moved it back to the front now. So my eggs are going in. Then my chicken will come in. Oh, hmm. The smell that was in this house here. Yeah. Hmm. I wish you could come and eat some. People will testify because people came and ate. Boys, boys came and ate. So they can testify. Try the recipe and enjoy it. Hmm. So afterwards, I literally kept on the hub for like five minutes just for the meat to absorb the flavors. Then, yeah, don't look at it. Look at it. Look. Don't forget to like. Mm. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with your friend, with your friend's friend, with your friend's friend's friend, with your family. Um, don't forget to leave me a little comment if you need anything else that you want me to do. And as always, thank you for all the love and support. Bye.